So in this video, we will see how to do the comparison between uh, the A standard cycles, that is auto cycle, diesel cycle and dual cycle, when they are subjected to same maximum pressure and same maximum temperature. And which cycle will have maximum efficiency and which cycle will have least efficiency. And from which cycle we get maximum amount of work done. So for when they are subjected to these three conditions. So for doing this comparison, we need to draw these uh, cycles in the single chart in both PV and TS coordinates. So I am drawing these uh, cycles in PV and TS coordinates. Auto cycle looks something like this. This is TS coordinate. So auto cycle looks something like this. So this is one to two. It's reversible adiabatic compression process or isentropic compression process. So 2 to 3 is constant volume heat addition process. And then we go for reversible adiabatic expansion process. So 3 to 4 is reversible adiabatic expansion process. And 4 to 1 is constant volume heat rejection process. And we got the initial state. So this is auto cycle. So reversible adiabatic compression process, so constant volume heat addition process, reversible adiabatic expansion process constant volume heat rejection process. I am drawing the same diagram in TS coordinates. 1 to 2 is isentropic compression process. Isentropic process, entropy remains same and it's compression process. So during compression, temperature increases. So constant entropy, temperature increases. 2 to 3 is constant volume heat addition process. So during heat addition, both temperature and entropy will increase. So 2 to 3 is constant volume heat addition process. So both temperature and entropy increases. This is constant volume. Line. And 3 to 4 is isentropic expansion process. It's an isentropic process. Entropy remains constant. It's an expansion process. Temperature decreases. And 4 to 1 is constant volume heat rejection process. It's a heat rejection process. During heat rejection, both temperature and entropy decreases. So this is auto cycle in both TS and PV coordinates and the constraints are like this. So maximum pressure is same and maximum temperature is also the same. So this is the maximum pressure I can have. In all the cycles if I have this, this maximum pressure and in all the cycles if I have this as maximum temperature. So which cycle will have maximum efficiency and which cycle will give maximum work done? This we want to find out. For same maximum pressure and for same maximum temperature. Now I am drawing diesel cycle. So inlet conditions are same why? because they depend on atmospheric conditions. For both diesel and auto and diesel cycle, the atmospheric conditions are same. So inlet condition for diesel cycle is 1 dash. So and then I go for compression process. In diesel cycle, so the pressure increases only during compression process. So I compress the gas till I reach maximum pressure. So this is one dash. I am compressing the gas. So till I reach the maximum pressure, I reach the maximum pressure. I compress the gas till I reach the maximum pressure. Reversible adiabatic compression process. Till I reach maximum pressure, I compress the gas. So this I am calling it as two dash. I can see like this for same maximum pressure. So compression ratio of diesel cycle is small in comparison with compression ratio of auto cycle. So since compression ratio in diesel cycle is small, so from 1 dash I go for compression in diesel cycle. So since I have more compression ratio, so 2 dash will come here. So there is more compression, more temperature rise. So this is 2 dash. And after this I go for heat addition process. I go for heat addition process. So this is constant pressure line. So this is more vertical and this is less vertical. So this is constant pressure line. I go for heat addition. So till I reach, so maximum temperature. This is constant pressure process. So till I reach maximum temperature, so I go for heat addition process. 
once I reach maximum temperature, so then I go for expansion process till I reach the initial volume. And then I go for constant volume heat rejection process till I reach the initial state to complete the cycle. So I go for heat rejection process. You can see, so 2 dash, so 3 dash will coincide with 3. And then I go for constant volume heat rejection process, heat rejection process, sorry, expansion process, reversible adiabatic expansion process till I reach the initial volume. Once I reach the initial volume, at constant volume, I go for heat rejection process till I reach the initial state. So this is heat addition process. I go for heat addition, so till I reach state 3. And then I go for expansion process, so till I reach the initial volume. So till I reach the initial volume, I go for expansion process. And once I reach the initial volume, at constant volume, I go for heat rejection, so till I reach the initial state on dash. So you may get a doubt, so, sir, why this blue color line is exactly intersecting at this point? Why not somewhere over here? So this, this is the temperature line, this is constant temperature line. And this is the maximum temperature you are saying. This is the maximum temperature inside the cycle you are saying. So this blue color line may intersect here, then also you will be having maximum temperature. And why it exactly intersects at 3 dash? You may get this doubt. So look here, if you look at this ideal gas equation, ideal gas equation is PV is MRT. So I'm taking the same amount of idle gas and same idle gas in auto cycle, diesel cycle and dual cycle. Therefore I can say like this, this mass remains constant and characteristic gas constant remains constant. I can say like this, PV is directly proportional to temperature. What you have done is, you have already fixed this temperature. This temperature is already fixed, you are saying the temperature is maximum temperature. So in diesel cycle the temperature is the same and dual cycle the temperature is the same. And you are saying the maximum pressure is also the same. At state 3, at state 2 dash, at 2 dash you can see, you are saying the pressure is maximum pressure and at 3 dash you are saying the pressure is the same, why because it is constant pressure iteration. You already fixed this pressure, pressure is fixed and you already fixed this temperature also. If you fix this pressure and if you fix this temperature, it will occupy some volume. So if you look at auto cycle, in auto cycle at state 3, the pressure is P max and the temperature is T max. In auto cycle, if you look at temperature T3, this is the maximum temperature. And if you look at the pressure P3, so this is the maximum temperature. Maximum pressure. In diesel cycle, if you look at the pressure at 2 dash, and if you look at the pressure at 3, 3 dash, so pressure at 3 dash is exactly the same as pressure at 2 dash, and that pressure is nothing but maximum pressure. And you are saying that you go for heat addition from 2 dash to 3 dash till you reach T max. I can say like this, so T3 dash, is same as T max. So pressure is P max and temperature is T max. In auto cycle, if you look at state 3, at state 3, pressure is P max and temperature is T max. So since you fix this pressure and temperature, so volume is getting fixed. I can say like this, so whatever the volume you have for this state, so corresponding to this pressure and temperature, you are having this volume. In diesel cycle also, corresponding to the same pressure and same temperature, you will have a similar state. So that's why the state gets fixed. State 3 is fixed. So P3, so P3 dash is same as P max and T3 dash is the same as T max. Therefore I can say like this, V3 will be exactly same as V3 dash. That's why, so this volume is same in both the states. Why? Because at this state, if you look at T3 dash, so if you look at P3 dash, so they are exactly the same as P3 and T3. P3 dash is the same as T3 and T3 dash is the same as T3. Therefore I can say V3 will be exactly the same as V3 dash. That's why, so this point, so 3 and 3 dash will go inside. Now I am drawing dual cycle. So the inlet conditions are set. So here the inlet condition is 1 double dash. So then I go for, so compression process. So I go for, com I don't go for compression till I reach maximum pressure. Why? Because in dual cycle, we go for constant volume heat addition first. During constant volume heat addition, there is rise in pressure. So what I do is, so I go for compression, so till some point here, and then I go for constant volume heat addition process, till I reach the maximum pressure. Once I reach the maximum pressure, then I go for constant pressure heat addition. Now you can see here, so inlet conditions are same, one double dash is same, I go for compression, you can see 
So two double dash lies between two dash and two. Two double dash lies between two and two dash. So then I go for constant volume heat addition. So till I reach the maximum pressure. So till I reach maximum pressure, I go for constant volume heat addition process. So this is three double dash. So then I go for so this constant pressure heat addition. So till I reach this maximum point. So this is four double dash. So I can say like this. So once you reach this maximum pressure, so till you reach this point, you go for heat addition process. Once I reach this point, I go for expansion process. So till I reach the initial volume, I reach the initial volume. Once I reach the initial volume, I go for heat rejection process. So till I get the initial state. So from here, I go for expansion process till I reach the initial volume. Once I reach the initial volume, at that volume, I go for heat rejection process till I reach the initial state. So I can say like this: this is four, this is four dash, and five double dash. Just like four, four dash, and five double dash. So all the three points will coincide over there. This is how we need to draw this PV and PS diagram. So when you compare the cycles for same maximum temperature and for same maximum pressure. So here, since you are fixing uh, state three pressure is maximum pressure and three dash pressure is also the same, four double dash pressure is also the same, and the temperatures are also the same at T three T three dash and T four dash. The volumes will also remain same at three three dash and four double dash. And that's why. All the three points will coincide, and all the three lines will coincide at a single point. So pressure is same, temperature is same, so volume will also get remain same. Okay. Now see here. So if you look at the diagram, so from this diagram I can say like this. So if you look at area under this curve, four one or four dash one dash or five double dash one double dash, I can say like this. So area under this curve will give the heat rejected in Different cycles. I can say like this: heat rejected in Otto cycle is exactly same as heat rejected in diesel cycle. Is exactly same as heat rejected in dual cycle. So heat rejected is constant in all the cycles. Heat rejected in dual cycle is the same as heat rejected in Otto cycle is the same as heat rejected in diesel cycle. In all the cycle, heat rejected is same. But if you look at the heat supply. Area under two three gives you heat supplied in Otto cycle. Area under two dash three dash gives you heat supplied in diesel cycle. Area under two double dash three double dash and four double dash gives you heat supplied in dual cycle. From the diagram, it's very clear that so area under this blue color curve is more. I can say like this: heat supplied in diesel cycle is more, and heat supplied in dual cycle is this one. And heat supplied in Otto cycle is the least. Otto cycle is two three. I can say like this: heat rejected is same. So which one the engine has more heat supplied that can give you more work? I can say like this. So under this constraints, so work done by diesel cycle is more in comparison with work done by dual and work done by Otto. Work done by Otto engine is the least work when the engines are subjected to these constraints. And if you want to do the comparison for efficiency, so since heat supplied is more and work done is more, how to do the comparison? Now see here, I can write like this: efficiency is nothing but work done by heat supplied. Work done is nothing but heat supplied minus heat rejected, so divided by heat supplied. This is efficiency. I can write like this: efficiency. Efficiency is nothing but one minus heat rejected, so divided by heat supplied. I can say like this: if you want to increase this efficiency, if I want to increase this efficiency, I need to decrease this ratio. I need to decrease this ratio. So I need to decrease this ratio. I mean, so I need to decrease the ratio of heat rejected by heat supplied. If this ratio is less, so that particular engine will give maximum efficiency. And how to decrease this? Ratio. I can say like this: which one engine has more heat supplied? So why? Because heat rejected is constant. Which one engine has more heat supplied? So that particular engine will have this ratio as less, and that particular engine will have more efficiency. You can see here: heat supplied is more for diesel cycle. Since heat supplied is more for diesel cycle, this ratio is very least for diesel cycle. Therefore, I can say for diesel cycle, you will get maximum efficiency. 
I can write like this efficiency of diesel cycle will be more and the next will be dual and the next will be auto so when the three engines so that is auto cycle diesel cycle and dual cycle are compared compared so for the same maximum pressure and for same maximum temperature diesel will give maximum efficiency and auto will give the least efficiency and this is how you need to do the comparison whenever they whenever they ask you to do the comparison for pressures or compression ratio so you need to or work done so you need to do that in pv coordinates and whenever they talk about temperatures or whenever they talk about heat input or heat rejection we need to do that in uh, ts coordinates thank you